This machine will give one single British bank a computer capacity greater than all but a handful of the world's most developed nations. Every detail of all the accounts held by the bank will be stored in its memory, ready for instant access and updating. It's the electronic equivalent of many thousands of ledger clerks. But the trading system that this vast computer makes possible is revolutionary because it's so ordinary. The heart of it is a simple desktop computer terminal, hardly more complex than a telephone and cheaper than most cash registers. It's linked to the central computer by the existing telephone network. Computer online. The shop is identified by pressing a button. Please insert your card. The customer's magnetically coded card links his bank account with that of the shop. Identification code, please. This secret code gives the computer permission to extract money from the customer's account. Confirmed. The assistant enters the amount of the sale and, providing the customer has the funds to cover it, the transaction is complete. Nineteen pounds received. Thank you. The money has been subtracted from the customer's account and added to the shops without a single penny changing hands. The system could eventually make cash entirely redundant, thus eliminating the elaborate security arrangements that are needed to protect it, and at least some of the mountain of paperwork that's needed to keep track of it. Checks and credit cards generate even more paperwork and have the additional disadvantage of involving an element of risk around six million pounds worth are bounced each year. The computer system is bounce proof. It simply won't work unless you have cash or credit at the bank and this combined with the saving of time and effort should make it completely acceptable to any retailer. It seems likely that the system will prove equally attractive to the customers. No longer need they be stuck without cash or with a pocket full of unacceptable checks or credit cards. A situation that's frustrating for the customer and sometimes damaging for the shop. And with banks now opening only at times which are often inconvenient, most people would welcome having to go less frequently, if at all. Life would be also made much simpler for the banks. Most of the routine work would be eliminated and the very nature of banking could change significantly. But if cash is to be the first major casualty of the computer revolution, then what's to become of its support troops, the thousands of clerks and accountants who've spent their lives looking after it? Most of them simply won't be needed. Until now, computers have generally tended to reduce hiring rather than increase firing, but it's already clear that this won't be true much longer. A system that offers as many advantages as this one could catch on quickly enough to eliminate jobs at a much higher rate than normal staff turnover could cope with. The jobs that would be eliminated are unproductive, generally boring, and better done by a machine. But they do provide the livelihood of many thousands of people. Much has been written and said about the need to expand further education and retraining facilities. But now it seems we're going to find we'll actually have to do something about it. And rather sooner than we might have wished. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.